I've got one hour and a special guest to go into the biggest thrift store in my town and see what we can find. So let's go thrift. So this store gets a little feisty when you shop the new racks. You're allowed to, they don't say you can't, but the workers will like come alongside of you and like take the stuff you're looking at and like go put it on the racks. So it's a little bit complicated and I try to be very careful with it, but I definitely don't film while I'm looking through it. However, I went to the first new rack I saw and I found two really good things. So let me show you those. The first thing is this like midi length skirt. It's got some fuzz on it, but I think I'll be able to get that off. This is John Galliano, fantastic designer. This is only $5. The next thing I found is a beautiful kind of career professional piece. It definitely needs a steam, but that's easy enough. And this is Etro, made in Italy. Bear with me as I try to show you guys this here. This is $12, it's not on a discount tag, but I am absolutely still gonna pick this up. So we are off to a good start. My little minion is already bored, so we will see how she does. But let's see what else we can find. So the first section I decided to go over to is the dresses. I have found some really good dresses before in this store, so I'm really hoping for that same thing. There's a lot of dress occasions coming up. We have the holidays, yes, Christmas, New Year's are coming up. We also have homecomings, things like that, and I, I don't know, I just feel like people need dresses. So I'm hoping to come home with something today. The 50% off tag this week is silver and spoiler alert. I had trouble finding any silver tags, but that's okay. But that's what we're really looking for. So this one looked interesting to me. It said Catherine Barclay. The tag looked nice. It said made in Quebec. It was only $8. And I don't know, it just felt like quality. I did put it aside to look it up. But I just didn't end up coming home with it. I didn't think the comps were quite good enough, so I did end up leaving that behind. The theme of today was finding good items, but just not being comfortable with the prices. I feel like every time, like this is a great example. This is a BCBG dress. It is new with tags, but they had it marked at $19.99. I feel like the prices keep going up and up, which is fine. That's totally within their purview. This is a pretty little thing dress for $19.99. Um, it's their business. They're obviously welcome to put their prices wherever they want to, but for me, for resale purposes, um, the prices are just getting a little bit worse and worse, it seems, each time I go. But I'm always able to get um, probably more treasures than I need to come home with. I'm doing fine on inventory, but we do end up with a pretty good sized cart. It just was slow going here at the beginning. So here's a Bob Mackie piece. I do like selling Bob Mackie. I find that it sells really well over on eBay, but for this price point, I did end up leaving this one behind as well. I kept wishing some of these tags were silver because I probably would have gotten a lot more of them. I didn't end up with as many dresses today as I have in the past. There's your reminder to always look at the hanger straps if you can't find the tag. That's how I often identify things. This one was interesting. I hadn't seen this before. Um, it was $30, so I honestly didn't even end up looking it up. Maybe I should have if you've ever heard of this brand or know anything about it. Looks like maybe a bridesmaid's dress. Let me know down in the comments, of course. So here's some items that I wanted to get but ended up leaving behind from the price. This was a $20 New with Tags Vineyard Vines dress. This was Torrid, but at $7, it's still above my price point for Torrid. Same thing with this Athleta dress. Really nice, super cute, but not for $9. This was a Title IX dress. $5.49 might have been okay, but we are coming out of the summery kind of athleisure dress season. This was a $20 Zara dress, even New with Tags. I might have looked this up if it was under 10, definitely would have snagged it for under five. Another Torah dress that's just marked too high. Lou and Gray, I love to get. 
at like bins prices or dollar days. It's a loft brand. And then this Lulu's dress was $14 new with tags, but it, it just was above my price range and it seemed like an older style as well. I did find this torrid top. I think they thought it was a dress. This was $4.49 and I think it's a perfect color going into fall and winter so I did grab that. And then on a new rack that was nearby I found these Adriana Goldschmied. They are skinny jeans but they were only $3.99 so I definitely grabbed those. I think gray will be good for this season. I'm, I'm thinking gray and black will be great. Here's some dresses that I did end up bringing home. This first one is an Adriana Papel. Looks to be maybe a bridesmaid's dress, but would also be super cute for homecoming. I do like grabbing Adriana Papel. This, I saw the Stitch Fix tag um, kind of sticking out of the rack. I love selling new attached Stitch Fix. <laughs> Stitch Fix. It always sells well for me. This was 50% off, so it was going to be $6.50 for me. I've never sold that brand before, Wisp, but I'm going to try it out. This looked beautiful for a Christmas or a holiday New Year's dress. This is Kay Unger. I'll be able to tack that tag back on. Um, so, so for $7 and it's a great plus size, I decided to grab it. This was a super cute Madewell dress, but at $14, I left that one behind as well too. Here's another new tag Stitch Fix and I have sold Market and Spruce really successfully in the past. Another great size, I believe this was a 2X and I think that one will do, do really well. I'm not going to make a ton off it, but it will definitely sell. Next I headed over to the shoes. There are so many shoes at this store. The whole store is kind of overwhelming, but I decided to see what we could find. Um, again, not a lot of silver tags, a lot of bread and butter things that are just too high out of my price range for reselling. So here I am just trying to find anything um, that, that might be of value for me just moving on down along the racks. My daughter was trying to help find some silver tags, so she was bringing stuff over to me when she saw silver tags, so that was very helpful, but mostly she found a little truck that she was just <laughs> playing with. These are Berkey's, which are Birkenstocks. Um, they were, I think, $9.79, but I did end up grabbing those. They were in great condition. I'll just get them a little bit wiped down. I'm just checking to make sure they are Birkenstocks and not, you know, any kind of knockoff, but those are indeed original. I also had already found these Sam Edelman, really cute for fall kind of transition piece. They are leather and they were silver tags, so they're going to be $4. I also found those BOC, I've sold this kind of style from BOC quite a bit and those were also a silver tag that I found 50% off. I didn't come home with a ton of shoes, but I did end up with kind of one bag of shoes after today. I do end up grabbing these cute little Crocs. I'll throw them in the wash. They will clean up really nicely. And they only had them marked for $4. I've sold this style before. They have individual rows and rows of ankle and tall boots here. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can find ones that look like nice leather. I like these Cole Haan Grand OS, but again, for $27, there's not much meat on the bone there. So I'm just looking for anything quality. It's hard to go through the boots um, because a lot of times I have to actually look inside the boot for the brand name, which is of course something that's very important to me as a reseller. Um, but I'm just trying to grab and pick up the things that I think might be genuine leather. That's usually the ones that end up getting picked up or nice rain boots. I do like looking for those as well, but I didn't find anything here. What did you find? Should we get this one for Jackson? No, this one. <laughs> Next I headed over to the pants and on the way we found this bucket that we decided would be cute for my daughter's birthday party coming up. We'll put all the juice boxes in those. But yeah, I'm gonna go through the racks. I do like how this store has the tags splayed out. I like these Lane Bryant, but I probably would only pick them up at bins prices. But for the most part, the um, tags are really easy to see since they have the pants like this. It's actually very helpful. Here's some really nice J. Jill. Um, that is the newer tag at J. Jill. And they only have these marked at three, I think 49, 379. And I think the larger size will do really well. I found a second pair that was also reasonably priced at 349. 
I think these will sell well, especially in the plus sizes. These ones I did consider getting, I noticed they were Bonobos, which is a good um, menswear brand. I do like selling, um, especially their bottoms, but at $7.29 I left it behind. My helper was getting a little restless so I decided to sort my cart while she looked at the toys. These can can jeans, unfortunately the zipper ended up being entirely stuck so they ended up being a loss. There's no returns at this thrift store but that does happen sometimes. These were a great find on a new rack. These are We Wore What? New with tags. They were $11.49 but I did pay up for them. They retailed for $100, I think $98. And I think they should do very well. I've never found that brand before, so I was very excited about that. This is a mix of things I found in the jeans and on the new racks. These were Vervet, which I did end up looking up and for the almost $15, $16 they had them priced at, I did end up leaving them behind. If they had been closer to 10 or less, I probably would have picked them up. I just wasn't familiar with that brand, so I didn't want to take that risk. These are a pair of blank NYC that I actually ended up buying for myself because I thought that they would work and look cute, but they ended up being a bit too big, so I am going to resell them instead. I probably wouldn't have paid that price just for resale though. These are a pair of really flare, wide leg, free people jeans. I think this style is going to do great. I've sold this pair of jeans in bright pink, so I'm hoping that the black will do well if the pink can do well. I think the pink one sold for like $45. Here's a super cute swim cover by Cupshe. I have sold this kind of look a few times in a few brands and at $4.50 it was definitely worth it for me. We are going into fall and winter but people still take vacations, people live in warm climates, so I think we should be safe. This is a little dress forum top. Dress forum is sold at Aritzia. I haven't found it before but I wanted to try it out. This was $5. It's pretty basic but I think it could still sell well. I was thinking this might be cute for myself so maybe I'll wear it first for fall before I end up listing it. This is a silk cashmere blend, which I think going into fall and winter should do really well. I've already actually noticed my cashmere start selling. I've sold three cashmere pieces just in the last week. This, if you can't tell, is a Vince dress. It took me a while to figure out what it is, but it is Vince. It's a super cute, just like stretch jersey knit wrap dress it's got the um tie that goes around it and yeah that was on a new rack i had to take a look and see what it actually was but that should sell fantastic it's a great you know just updated basic in black this is a torrid bra that they only had marked at a dollar at 99. i checked a lot of the bras they had them priced all over the place but this was the one it seems basically brand new um definitely excellent new condition this was one that i wanted to look up it is bonds um, I did end up leaving this one behind, but maybe at the bins I would have grabbed it and if this had been a little bit smaller, I certainly would have grabbed it for myself because it seemed like a super cute, comfy, just t-shirt bra. This is Athleta. Um, I do end up bringing this home, but unfortunately I thought that it wasn't designed to have cups inside and I checked it, but then when I got home and looked at it further, it is supposed to have cups inside. So I put that in my pile of things that need cups that I will at some point try to grab from the bins. These are a pair of Madewell jeans. I think that black and gray is going to be doing really well in fall. That's the trends we've been starting to see. So even though they're skinny, people still wear skinny, especially in fall because people like to wear them with knee and thigh high boots. Here's some frame denim, which is always a great find. It retails for so high. I only have found one other thing. I liked the raw cuffs. Um, the other thing hasn't sold yet, but we're gonna throw these in the pile and see if we can get those sold. Here was one of the finds of the day. These are mother jeans, which is always a fantastic find. They had these at like 9.50, but I still decided to get them. 
I don't find Mother all that often, but ironically, the one other time I found it was at the store. I tend to find really good jeans at the store. I don't know why, but it just is a really good hotspot for me. Here's some Rag and Bone and other great ones. These are tempting for me to keep. Um, these were $6.29, um, but just another pair of normal blue, kind of skinny. These were more of a slim than a skinny. These were a fun find. These are Affliction, but they are new with tags, and I've only sold Affliction t-shirts before, so I'm going to try out the jeans. The comps looked really good, especially new with tags. And there it is, the Louis Vuitton, priced at $24, that although might fool some, shouldn't really fool anybody because it felt so cheap, it was peeling. I got excited just for a second, thinking, hey, maybe somebody left it and it could be real, but no, this is definitely a fake. This was left behind for somebody else to just enjoy and be able to pretend like they have a nice real Louis Vuitton. Off to the kids shoes. I do like shopping the kids shoe section in the store because they don't tend to be quite as marked up. I did find these Camex raindrop boots um, and they were only $3.50 which was great. I found these natives but they were way too beat up um, even at a lower price. Um, but yeah they don't tend to be quite as overpriced as the adult shoes in my opinion but they still can be somewhat you know beat up. So I'm just looking at anything of value. I th thought these might be Keens, but they were not. I'm not familiar with that with that brand. So yeah, if you see anything that I miss in, in this section or throughout the video, let me down, know down in the comments because I'm not going to see anything. I had a limited amount of time, plus I'm trying to make sure my daughter was around next to me. So it's a lot to see, and I absolutely could have missed something, of course. Over to the boys' shoes now. Here's some Merrells, um, but they were just too beat up even um, for a lower price. This would have been a great pickup if they were not quite as beat up. I just liked these Grogu little Star Wars shoes, but left those behind. Here was another good find. Um, these were only $2.50, and those were another pair of Kamek snow boots. So those did end up coming home with me. I have seen snow boots already start selling and rain boots, which is great. So if you have any of those sitting in your death pile, definitely get them listed. I'm trying to get all of mine listed. These were so cute little Mickey Mouse shoes, little Disney shoes. We're hoping to take a Disney vacation next year. So I'm keeping my eye out for stuff that would fit anybody in my family. I always check any leather um, cowboy boots that I see, but these didn't end up being anything I thought worth picking up, but definitely good to check because cowboy boots for girls, boys, men, women can do very well. I probably would have gotten these Levi's boots if they were a little bit cheaper, but Levi's does best in jeans. I don't really have much um, familiarity with the shoes, so at $10 I definitely left those behind. Alright, I think my daughter is getting a little bit restless. She found a little scooter, but I'm trying to keep her very close by because I hate when kids are running crazy. Um, but here's my car, and I think we're going to go check out. Okay, we made it to the cart. We forgot our reusable bags, so we had to carry as much stuff in as we could, which was a little tricky. But did we get everything to our car? Yes. Did you have a good time? Mm, <laughs> she was getting very, very bored <laughs> by the end of this. But I ended up getting 33 items to resell, and I just did my cost of goods, and it's about $5.40. I ended up getting some really good things, although I think the first two things I found, being the John Galliano skirt and the Etro dress, ended up being my best things of the day. I did get some higher end items, so that's why my cost of goods is a little bit high. Um, I did have a 10, actually I think it ended up being a 20% discount coupon, which is really great, but I'm excited to get all these things listed. I got a lot of jeans, which is perfect for fall, and I just got to have a little bit of fun with my daughter right here.
Did we go to Panera first? Yes. <laughs> Who are you looking at? The car. The car. <laughs> All right, we are going to get home. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.